All right. Good evening. Uh, thank you for coming. Uh, we're going to start seated because we're, uh, we're going to do a pretty uh, nice, simple class today. Uh, what, what I'll call uh, in the past the no push-ups class. So let's scoot on back. Or I have to scoot back because I was too close. And uh, we're going to cross the legs or sit however uh, you can sit comfortably. And we're going to do some moving and breathing. Let me go back further. Good. So uh, firstly, when we're sitting, uh, core in, shoulders back. And we're going to breathe in and out through the nose. And of course, we're going to do that for the whole uh, class. But for now, we're going to breathe in and touch the sky, the ceiling, and then all the way back down. And then up again, breathing in. And back down. Breathing in all the way up again. So just find your rhythm. And the in-breath is when we reach the hands up and we're expanding the lungs, the out-breath, bringing them down. Nice and simple, nice and slow, moving with the breath. Just about 10 more seconds. Good, breathe in, touch the ceiling. And then breathe out, arms down. We're gonna bring the uh, right hand forward. We're gonna keep the shoulders level to the earth. We're gonna grab those fingers and pull back with the uh, opposite left hand. Try to pull back with your mind through the thumb, reaching out to the side there. And we're gonna to continue to breathe. And let's do the other side, left hand out. We're gonna pull those fingers back a little bit. Thumb out, breathing here. Great, hands on the knees, straight spine to the crown of the head. This is a digestive pose, so it's good that we're doing it today. And we're gonna draw a big circle on the uh, ceiling with the crown of our head, one direction here at first. And then the opposite direction, please. Keep on breathing. I might do a shorty today. Great, back to center. We're gonna hold this posture for one more movement. It's like cat-cow, but the uh, low ribs are gonna lunge a bit forward as we look up kind of at the third eye, and then we're gonna arch the back looking at the floor. And we're moving this uh, with the breath. Again, the usual, about 10 more seconds.
right back to center. Let's extend the legs out in front of us and you could uh, shake them around a little bit if you like. And we're gonna do a dynamic Janu Sirsasana. So we're gonna bend the right leg with the right sole against the thigh, knee in the direction of down towards the earth. We do left hand grabbing the shin. If you can get the toes, the legs straight, go ahead and do that. We're gonna breathe in and reach up. We're gonna breathe out and fold it all down. All the way back up, breathing in. And all the way back down. And over and over, please. Out breath on the downward fold. The downward fold includes the right shoulder coming down. Great, and next time you're up, we're gonna stay up looking to the reaching hand. Continue breathing. All right, let's do the other side. Right leg out, left sole in. Right on right, and up with the in breath, and all the way down, and again, all the way up. And all the way down, over and over, please. Good. Um, again, next time you're up, we're going to go ahead and stay up, looking to the reaching hand, breathing here. Excellent. Let's bring the soles of the feet together. We're going to pull them in quite close. The left hand is going to grab the small toes, right hand on top. We're going to sit up nice and tall, and you can butterfly the legs if you like. And we breathe here, staring straight forward, eyes open, breathing in the nose both directions. Good, we're gonna bring the legs to still and we're gonna push the elbows against the legs, putting the uh, heart on the big toes or trying to as we lock the shoulder blades kind of back and together and that'll restrict your movement, don't worry. And uh, again, we keep breathing all the time. Excellent. Back up. We're going to cross the legs. Cross them as uh, lightly and easily as you can. If anything else comes easy to you, like what I just did, you're welcome to do that. We're going to sit up tall and we are going to put the hands on the shoulders, fingers down the front, thumbs down the back. We're doing a lot of Kundalini style stuff tonight. And we're going to turn to one side looking. That can be your in breath and then the out breath on the other. If one side seems tighter, put the out breath on the tight side. As you come over to that side, breathe out on the side that's resisting. You could also bring the arms up uh, in a goddess, 
or all the way out. Also, that's a lot of leverage. Take your time. Keep moving with the breath. And again, the usual 10 more seconds, please. All right, let's place the right hand on the left knee and the left hand either behind you. If you feel like you wanna come all the way around, grab the shirt, the pocket of the leg, you can. We're going to sit up tall and we're going to look gently back over the twisting shoulder, the twisting torso. Very nice. Let's come on over to the other side. Uh, left hand grabs the right knee for sitting up tall. Twisting back, looking over the shoulder, breathing here. Eyeballs staring at the eyeball line, giving profile. Good, back to center. Uh, we're just gonna roll forward to hands and knees and do a bit of cat and cow. So uh, hips over the knees, knees two fists apart, shoulders over the wrists, fingers forward. We drop the belly down, looking up third eye. As we breathe out, we're gonna arch this back, knee back. And we're gonna keep moving, breathing and moving. And back to center, we're going to look over the right shoulder. Take a couple of breaths here. And then please over to the other side, looking over that shoulder. Good, back to center. Push yourself up to just being on your knees. And uh, I'm going to tuck the toes. I'll go side so you can see that. Knees stay two fists apart. And I'm trying to keep things easy tonight. You're welcome to ramp it up if you like, but... Thumbs in the back, elbows a bit together, and we're going to look at the ceiling. If you want to ramp it up, you can put the fingers on the heels. If you're super flexible, the feet could be fat, flat, and you'll see that that reaches a, a, a bit further away. So let's just take several breaths here in camel. Good, back down uh, to hands and knees. A Little bit more cat cows. Good, back to center. We're gonna stand and we're gonna stand at the top of the mat. So uh, wherever the top of your mat is, I'm gonna have my top of the mat here so I can do a side view for everyone. Uh, from the top of the mat, we're gonna step the left foot back. 
and we're going to do uh, warrior two just to start here. We're going to bring the arms out over the legs, core is engaged, knees over the ankle. Take a couple breaths here. Your back foot 90, 45 degrees, directionally up towards 90 is probably uh, a little better. We're going to breathe here. Good. Let's straight that leg in the front so that we can pivot. Right toes 45, left toes out. And we're going to bend the leg uh, in the front here now so we have warrior two on the other side. And we're going to breathe just like this. Good, we'll straight that leg and we're gonna pivot again, left toes 45, right toes out. We're gonna reach out for a triangle and then just right hand down, could be on the shin, just don't shove too much weight there. Left arm up. If you can hold with the strength of your upper body, you could have palms facing out in a way. You can work your way down, but you want everything stacked over the leg here in the front. Let's continue to breathe. The traditional looking is to the reaching hand, but it's a good checkpoint if you're going to look down, which you can, it's a little easier. Look at the foot. You want the nose pointing at the foot. Just a little more. It's taking it easy tonight. Let's come back up. And we're going to pivot. Right toes 45, left toes out. And we're reaching out over the uh, left foot now. The triangle here. And we're going to breathe like this. Take your time. Carpet is slippery. Good. Back up. We're coming into horse. The sun goddess. Toes are slightly splayed. Knees are opening, we're holding the ceiling. We're gonna breathe here. Good, straight the legs, turn the feet to run straight forward, reach straight up, and then we're coming straight down for one wide, le one, one wide legged forward fold. That is a tongue twister. Head down, feet further apart if it's hard to get the hands down. Don't worry about where you're getting, just kind of breathe and hang into the forward fold. Elbows back through the legs if possible. Good. Let's stand and we're going to return to the top of the mat and we're going to do tree. So we're going to stand on the left foot. We're going to lift the right leg, grabbing the ankle and uh, you could hold it there. You could, with the force of the leg, push a little bit the foot against the standing leg. Hands of the heart are all the way up. If you have balance issues, which I seem to have tonight, you can get close to something like a shelf or a wall and put one finger on the wall and kind of touch and release as you work on your balance. We're going to take several breaths right here. Good, let that down, let's step it out a little bit and we're gonna do the other side. Uh, standing on the right, we're gonna lift the left and then the answer to the heart again or whatever you did on the other side. 
I'm going to take several breaths here. If you have trouble locking the foot, you can have it right out there in the front. Sorry, I didn't say that on the previous one, but it is always an option. And again, you can touch and release the wall as you gain your balance. Core is engaged. The eyes are open. You find our visual lock that is always helpful with the uh, balance. Very nice, let that down. We can step it out a little bit. And then we're gonna sit down because we're gonna get on to our core work. We're just gonna do um, three of these today. So I'll show you how you can do it easy. I'll show you how you can do it difficult. Uh, legs are bent. I'm gonna bring the arms under the legs and roll back under the tail. This is the easiest uh, way to do this, just hanging out right here. The balancing could be difficult for some of us, so we'll work on that. If you wanna start the core work, we don't quite feel it yet like this, but when you let go, even with the legs bent, you start to feel it in the core. You want more work, straight the legs. You want more work, intertwine the fingers behind your uh, head and keep the legs bent. And again, we're only doing three tonight. Very nice, cross the legs, grab the shin, sit up nice and tall. And all the way up again for number two. We're breathing here. Great, cross the legs, sit up really tall. And uh, this is the last one of this series today, just three tonight, that's plenty. We're gonna breathe. All right, let's hug the knees in. And we're gonna lie back. So let's take the forearms and grab the shins and pull them down and bring the nose up to the uh, knees. You can really pull those shins down hard. Very nice. We're gonna do bridge, feet down flat, feet on knees, two fists apart. We're gonna lift the hips. As you lift the hips, tuck one shoulder, then the other. Intertwine the fingers and push the arms down against the ground. Uh, you're welcome to do our Vadanya Rasana. Uh, again, we're trying to take it easy tonight. We only got a couple more poses left. Very nice, back down. You could hug the knees into the chest again. And then if possible, I want you to get near a wall. If not possible, you could put your feet up on the couch. I haven't done this one in a while and I miss it. And we're gonna do legs up the wall, which is a super awesome pose. So you gotta kind of get the hips in there close. And then we bring uh, down onto the back and then legs up the wall. They can be straight up. They can be parted out. They can be parted out a lot if you want the inner thigh to, to stretch a bit. But just anyways, legs up the wall. You're going to have the arms out. We're going to take several breaths right here, just uh, relaxing into this uh, great pose. Of course, we're going to continue the long breathing. That's all we got to do here with the feet up the wall. Breath in through the nose, breath out through the nose. Excellent. Let's come off the wall. If you're really comfortable on the wall, stay as long as you like. 
Uh, but we're coming back and we're going to lie down on the mat. So just take your time lying down. And we're going to bring the knees up into the uh, chest again. And we bring the arms out like a T. We're going to take a breath in. As we breathe out, let the knees fall to the right as you look to the left. Right hand's going to hold that knee down. And we look over to the reaching hand. Couple of breath right here. And let's come all the way back up and over to the other side. And we'll breathe here. All right, back to center, hug the knees into the chest, thank yourself for coming out. And we're gonna take a very important laying down, resting. We let the breath return to normal. We let the body sink down into the earth. I'm gonna stay here for a good minute, or maybe longer, because I'm not watching the time. All right, let's move the fingers and toes a little bit. Let me rotate it for this and the ankles. And let's we'll stretch the hands way over the top of the head. Reach from the fingers to the toes and pull the core down. Hold that core lock. Excellent. Bring the knees into the chest. And we're going to roll ourselves up to a seated position. And we're going to finish ourselves out here. So hands at the heart center, no rush. We're rubbing them together, making a little bit of fire. Or a lot of fire. My hands are a little cold. Good. We're going to reach the arms all the way up into the sky, receiving all the gifts of the universe the day before gratitude day. We're going to take a breath into the nose as much as we can get. We're gonna breathe in more through the mouth and even more. Hold the breath, tighten the core, lift the floor, and then let everything out. Ah, thank you, gratitude day. You're living your dream, don't miss it. Namaste. You can find links to my Venmo and PayPal and uh, Venmo at danieloverberger.com. I thank, uh, all y'all that came out tonight to do our short and easy class. Um, let's 